some of the ways you pay for your purchases at Walmart? Well, I bet you use a credit card, a debit card, and maybe even a Walmart gift card. Well, today I'm going to teach you how to use all these forms of payment. And after you finish scanning your customer's items, you press total. And the total is going to appear on the screen. And then you say, and your total will be $12.81. And if the customer uses the debit card at this part, this is going to get really easy. They'll slide the debit card through the reader, select debit, select if you want cash back, yes or no. So if they don't want cash back, it would be X, exact amount card, press that. The receipt prints, and you're all done. After the debit transaction has been accepted, hand the customer their receipt and their merchandise, and then you're all done. And that's all it takes to do the debit card. Let's talk about credit card. So what about credit cards? We take them too. And it works just about the same as the debit card. Just follow the prompts on your register. Let's show you how that's done. You ever heard of a smart chip? Some credit cards have them now. If your customer's credit card has smart chip, they should insert the card into the bottom of the reader, smart chip first, instead of swiping it. They might also be prompted to enter a PIN number. By the way, Walmart gift cards work the same way as credit cards. The customer swipes their gift card, and you press the card key. Simple, isn't it? So, have you ever been asked to show your ID when making a credit card purchase? I bet you wonder why that happens. Well, it's to protect our customers' accounts and their identity. It doesn't happen very often, but when it does, we need to know what we can accept. So, a driver's license or a state ID or a military ID are common forms of ID. But just to understand that when you accept the ID, that it needs to match the person on the ID. So just follow the prompts on your register and you'll have them all taken care of in no time. But hey, guess what? We still have their ID. This is a great opportunity to thank our customer personally by name for shopping at our Walmart. Thanks, Kelly, for shopping at Walmart. We're so glad you came in today. So if anything looks questionable, make sure you do 248 Action Code to call your CSS and tell her that there could be an issue. Debit cards, credit cards, gift cards, taking these correctly is just another way to help our customers have a quick and easy shopping experience.